Welcome to the video tutorial for Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is a web browser. There are different web browsers available such as Firefox or Safari. I'm using Explorer just because it's the most popular one at most of the libraries that the program took place in. So follow along and I'm going to show you some of the basic features of browsing the internet. Now at the top is your address bar. This tells you where you are online. Currently, I'm at www.google.ca, so I'm set to a search engine page. Now, if you want to follow along and you're not at Google right now, just left-click in your address bar. Whatever the current address you're on, it should become highlighted blue. If it doesn't, just hold your left-click down and drag over top the current address. If you have a whole bunch of letters and symbols and it's taking up the entire address bar, Another way you could do it is left click in the address bar so that you see your cursor blinking. Hit your control key, hold the control key down, and hit the letter A. Control A is for a shortcut key for all, so it'll highlight all of the text in that area. Once it's highlighted, type in www.google.ca and hit enter and it'll bring you to the page that I'm at. Google is a search engine. There are tons of search engines out there. Yahoo is another really popular one. I just happen to prefer Google. So when you're searching for things online, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. If you're not quite sure what it is you're looking for and you don't have the specific words, it might take you a little longer, so be patient. But if you do know specifically what it is you're looking for, then be specific in your search. So for example, if I was going to the theater and I wanted to know what was playing, I could type in Galaxy Cinemas. Now automatically, as I start to type, there will be different search results that pop up here. I'm just going to leave it at Galaxy Cinemas for a moment to show you something. So after I've typed in Galaxy Cinemas, I'm going to hit Enter. My search bar didn't go anywhere, it just went up to the top corner here. And here are some of these search results over on the right hand side it will show me that I've found approximately 405,000 different search results. Now if I want to minimize my search I can add to my search up in my search bar. Left click, cursor's blinking, ready to write, leave a space and I'm going to type in North Bay Ontario just to narrow down my search some more. Immediately I see the very first options for me are for the North Bay Galaxy Cinema, so I know I've narrowed down my search successfully. Now there's still 19,000 and some items available, but it will order them by the most popular, so you should be okay as long as you're quite specific in your searches. When you're searching with Google, there's something else you can keep your eye for. There are two buttons down below here. Search the web or search pages from Canada only. So if I wanted to just search Canadian pages, I could left click and you'll notice that the web is no longer highlighted blue and this one is, so it'll only search for pages in Canada. Great. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is setting a home page. A home page just means every time you open up your computer and you open up Internet Explorer, the very first internet page that pops up is your home page. Over in your menu bar, there's going to be a little picture of a house. This just brings you back to your home page. So if I left click on this picture, it brings me to gmail.com. That is what I have set for my home page. Every time I open up my computer, the very first page I look at is this Gmail page. Now many of you by now have a Gmail account, so you might want to set yours to the same thing. Up in your address bar, left click and type in www.gmail.com and hit enter and it will bring you to this page. Now to set a home page you're going to take a look at these tabs across the top. One of them is titled Tools. This is the one you want. Now if you're looking at your Internet Explorer page and you don't have these tabs, in this empty space here I want you to right click on your mouse and make sure that there's a check mark beside menu bar. If there's no check mark, that's why you're not seeing those menu tabs. So check mark menu bar and then these tabs will will reappear. So left click on tools, 
scroll down to Internet Options, and the very first tab is General, and this is what you want to see, this home page here. Mine currently is set to Gmail, as I've said, so if you want yours to be, as long as you're at Gmail right now, hit Use Current Page, so Use Current, and then go down to the bottom and left click on Apply. Very important to hit on Apply before you hit OK. If you just hit on OK, it'll go back to end default to whatever the home page was before. So left click Apply and then left click on OK. So this is now my home page. Now the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was how to add a favorite to your Internet Explorer. So up to the top again in our address bar, left click it'll all become blue. Again, if it doesn't, you can also left click in the address bar and then hold down the control key and then hit the letter A and all of it will become highlighted. I'm going to type in www.youtube.com and hit enter. Now YouTube, um, as you can see, is great for educational reasons. You can watch video tutorials and search for all sorts of different things on it. You can also search for things that are more entertaining. YouTube is free. So if you wanted to open a YouTube account, on the main page of YouTube, in the right hand top corner here, there's a spot where you can create an account. You do need a Gmail account, so by now most of you do have one. Um, so you just follow through the steps, just left click on create account and go through the proper steps if you wanted to open a YouTube account. When you upload a video, they do need to be 10 minutes or under, so that's just something to keep in mind. Now beyond YouTube itself, how do we create a favorite so that we can just simply click on our favorites and take a look at these pages that we visit more often? In that top menu bar again, there's a tab for favorites. If I left click on this, I can say add to favorites right here or there are two stars here. The star by itself is my favorites list. The star with a green plus sign allows me to add to my favorites. So I'm going to click on that one. Left click. Add to favorites. And then a new window comes up. It's asking me, add this web page as a favorite. So I'm going to say, yes, I'd like to add this. Left click on add. And now, to double check if it worked, go up to where it has the star, left click, and there are some favorites that I had. I had Google, and there's that YouTube one. So now, if I wanted to go to YouTube in the future, I don't have to type it in. I can just click on my star, scroll down, and click on YouTube. So for example, if I wanted to go to Google right now, I can left click on Google, brings me right back. Great. So when you're exploring the internet, this is just a tip of the iceberg type of tutorial just to show you some of the things you can do. You might have your banking information and all sorts of private information online. Please make sure as a tip that for your email and your banking purposes change your passwords. Never keep the same password for more than one thing. Uh, just to be extra cautious, if you are doing banking online you might want to add that to your favorites so that it's easy and accessible and never give out your information if you're not sure. If you're unsure, don't put it out there because once it's out there, it's out there. Great, I hope this video tutorial helped. I know there's so much more that you've learned in your sessions and there's so much more to learn out there, but hopefully this refreshed some of your memory and uh, gets you ready and gets you started for new exploring. Have a great day.